You need to understand logarithms before you complete this lesson. Recall, graphs that model exponential growth are called exponential functions. Exponential graphs are one-to-one -one functions. Hence, its inverse will be a one-to-one -one function too. The exponential function can be reversed by the logarithmic function. Therefore, the inverse of the exponential function is a logarithmic function. Exponential functions have the general formula y equals to a to the power of x for a greater than zero. Exponential graphs can be recognized by their shape, their y-intercept, and the horizontal asymptote. For example, the function y equals 2 to the x has a y-intercept of 1. It increases exponentially for positive values of x. For negative values of x, the exponential graph approaches y is equal to zero line, which is the x-axis, but will never touch the x-axis. So the x-axis is the horizontal asymptote for the graph. The exponential function is a one-to-one -one function. The inverse of an exponential function will be a one-to-one -one function. We can find the inverse by reflecting the graph over the line y is equal to x. The reflection shows us the inverse graph of the exponential graph. What is the formula for this inverse graph? Consider the function y is equal to a to the power of x. To find its inverse, swap x and y, and you get x is equal to a to the power of y. The next step would be to make y the subject of the formula. However, y is the exponent, so the method to solve the exponential equation will require logarithms. By using logs, we convert from exponential to log form and thus make y the subject of the formula. As mentioned before, the inverse of an exponential function is a logarithmic function or log function. We say that y equals log x base a is the inverse of the exponential function y equals a to the power of x. Let's work through this example. If f of x equals log base half of x, number one, write down the equation of g of x, the inverse of f of x in the form y equals. Number two, sketch the graphs of f of x and g of x on the same set of axes and label all intercepts with the axes. To find the inverse of y equals log base half of x, we swap x and y. So x equals log base half of y. Now, we can make the y the subject of the formula by converting to exponential form, and we get y equals a half to the power of x. For part two, it is easiest to sketch the exponential graph first. Calculate a few points which you will use to plot the graph. When x equals 0, y equals 1. When x equals 1, y equals a half. When x equals negative 1, y equals 2. Join the points and you can see that the graph has an x-axis as the horizontal asymptote. As x increases, y gets closer to the horizontal asymptote and as x decreases, the y values increases exponentially. We can reflect this graph over the line y is equal to x to find its inverse, the log graph. Using the ordered pairs from the exponential graph, swap x and y coordinates and we get the points 1, 0, a half, 1, and 2, and negative 1. That's enough coordinates to draw the log graph. Notice that the y-axis with the equation x equals 0 is a vertical asymptote for this inverse graph. The inverse of a decreasing exponential function will be a decreasing log function.